Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's Sacramel School. In a previous video, I was showing a beginner's guide to gel polish application, and I've got lots of requests to show some manicure techniques for beginners as well, so I'm granting your request. If you are just a beginner in a manicure or you do it yourself at home, then you probably have not got yourself a nail drill yet, but you surely have scissors or nippers, I guess. In this video, I will show two ways of how using manual tools you can do a perfectly clean manicure. So hit the subscribe button below, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's get into it! Now, let's take a look at some products and tools we are going to use. A nail file for natural nails. A buff for polishing. A cuticle pusher, which is a metal spatula for removing pterygium. Scissors or nippers for cutting the cuticles. A cuticle softening remover. A hand bath for a manicure or another container, for example, a bowl. We are also going to need an acetone containing gel polish remover. Cotton pants and foil. My model is here. First things first, I need to sanitize her hands. You can buy a special skin spray or gel hand sanitizer. Turn the hands facing the palms. You shouldn't apply the product to the nails, since it contains moisturizing components, which can affect the gel polish wearability. You can remove the color code using 180-240 grit nail file. Or you can file off the top layer with a nail file and then soak the nails in an acetone containing liquid. Since you are just a beginner and you only learn how to do a manicure, you probably don't have an e-file for gel polish removal and manicure. I'm going to show you how to remove the polish at home without using an e-file. In order not to hurt your client with a new sharp nail file, you can buff its edges. I'm holding the client's finger with two of mine, so I can easily turn it. Put it on the side, and with the rough side of the file, start making long strokes from left to right. First, the top cut comes off. Then goes the color, and I'll get to the base. Never move upwards, since you can easily hurt the cuticle with the file. Always move along. To avoid touching the lateral folds, hold the client's finger like this. Move it to the side, cover the lateral fold to prevent injuries and continue filing. This removal method is more gentle to your nails and skin than socking them in an acetone remover. The nails won't bend, and the cuticle and the skin around the nail won't get dry. But if you can't make gentle moves with a nail file and end up injured, it will be safer to sock the gel coat. I file off the top coat and a bit of color before the holes show up. Now cut the cotton pads into several triangles and sock them into a gel polish remover. The pads should be really wet. Before removal, I moisturize the cuticle and the skin around the nail with oil, without getting on the nail. The oil will protect the skin from harsh chemical exposure. Place the foil under the finger and put the cotton pad triangle on the nail. I fold the corner to the tip and wrap the nail. Press tightly and set up a timer for 5 to 10 minutes. You should check the required time in the instructions to the product. If you have an e-file, you can remove the polish using it. And in my video, I'm showing how to do it. I will put the link into the description box. When time is up, remove the foil and take off the gel polish using an orange stick or a cuticle pusher.
seal some base coat left, then put the foil back on and wait for a few more minutes. After this step, buff the rest of the base coat. You can leave a thin layer of the base coat instead of completely taking it off. If the base coat is crumbling and peeling a lot, you should take it off completely. Using a nail file or a remover. After removal, start lifting the cuticle with the rounded part of the pusher. It should be placed almost level with the nail, at a small angle of 30 degrees. Using the rectangular part of the pusher, clean out the dead skin from the nail plate. By doing this, we won't have to soak the nail for too long in a bath. So we can complete the manicure way faster. Now let's buff the nails in the cuticle area where I have not filed yet. I'm using the soft side of the buff. I avoided buffing the nail plate after removing the gel polish on purpose, since I prefer doing it after lifting the cuticle. While buffing, we also remove some excess skin parts, and the manicure time is shorter. We are done with the cuticle, and now we need to shape up the free edge. For the shape, we have chosen a soft square. So I need to file straight on the edge. And I'm filing the bottom part getting under the nail. I shape up the nail before putting it into a buff because once soaked, the nails get wider, and then once the moisture evaporates, they shrink back. So if you file after the bath, there is a fair chance that the nails will split. Now let's proceed with the manicure. On two nails, I'm going to do a classic manicure with maceration, or soaking the nails in a hand bath. And on the rest, we'll skip this step. Instead, we'll be using a softening cuticle remover. I'm using a manicure boss. It may be any other container. First, put on a disposable bag, and then pour water. The water is about 42 degrees Celsius. Just right, not too hot and not too cold. I only put in the water those fingers, on which I'm going to do a classic manicure with socking. Wait for 1-2 to two minutes. You shouldn't soak the skin too much, since this way you won't see the cutting line between the part of the proximal nail fold and the cuticle. Get the hand out of the bath, wipe it off, and using the cuticle pusher, clean out the pterygium. The tip of the pusher should be about half to one millimeters below the cuticle. Remove all the dry and dead skin, and open up the area under the cuticle. I'm making upward move with a tissue to lift up the cuticle. Now we can see a thin strip of it. I'm going to cut it with nippers, since most nail techs use them too. I put the central part, a stud, on my index finger. I covered it up with my thumb and put the other three ones on the handle. I move it close to the finger and lean on. I never work with my hand loose. I lean my index finger on my other hand and put the whole blade to the fold. Press the skin a little bit and close the nippers. We have removed the lateral fold part. I also pull back the fold on the other side. Put the whole blade to it and close. You shouldn't cut too much skin of the lateral folds, since this way they will get rough faster. Only cut the dry skin a bit, it is normally yellowish, transparent or white in color. Now let's proceed with the cuticle cutting. The bottom blade should hide under the cuticle. The upper one covers it up and cuts 2 mm of the skin. Now close the nippers and take a step back. Don't make any tearing strokes, since it will cause hangnails. 
Take your time and try to make a smooth, seamless cut. Now I'm not very comfortable with turning the nippers this way. So I place them to the other side and again lean on my hand for support. The hand shouldn't be loose. Pull back the cuticle, put the lower blade under and close the upper blade. Now that my two cuts meet, the cuticle is completely removed. We can often see the inside of the cuticle. Which means that the cut is not deep enough and there is a ruffled skin inside. Moisturize the cuticle again, lift it up, and now instead of laying down the whole blade as we did before, place it perpendicularly, removing the inside of the cuticle. If you don't remove that ruffled skin, the gel polish will lick. That's a finished result! On the other hand, I'll cut the cuticles using scissors. I personally use these cuticle scissors from Stalix, which work as a tweezer. Usually for beginners it's easier to work with them rather than with the standard cuticle scissors with rings. I water the skin if it has dried and, as shown before, I hide the lower blade under the cuticle and cut 2-3 to three millimeters, keeping the blade under the cuticle. You can remove the leftover skin from the folds and the sinuses using nippers. Here are our finished cuts with nippers and scissors. And, as we can see, there is absolutely no difference between them. You should choose the tool you are more comfortable to work with. On the rest of the nails, I will repeat the same procedure, skipping the hand bath part. Instead, I'm going to use a cuticle softening remover. I personally prefer the gel type one because it doesn't run out. Grab a generous amount of a remover and apply it to the cuticle and the folds. If you work slowly, do one nail at a time. I'm waiting for the exposure time that is indicated on the bottle, one minute in this case. And repeat the removal procedure. I'm cleaning the dead skin with a pusher. The remover I'm using is alkaline, so it needs to be neutralized. Wet a tissue with water or hand sanitizer. And carefully take off all the remover leftovers and proceed with cutting. The key to perfectly clean and even cut is how well you have lifted the cuticle and removed the dead skin. Don't be lazy and take time at this stage. Our manicure is finished, now I'm asking my model to wash her hands in order to neutralize the remover action and then we will apply the gel polish. And you can watch how to do it in my previous video, where I was showing a beginner's guide to gel polish application. For this video, I chose the model with a good cuticle, so you could learn the information step by step. If you want a detailed video on how to treat a difficult cuticle, give this video a thumbs up, wishing you success in your work, good luck and bye bye!